Hello, I'm Anne from Waterford Libraries. Welcome to Family Time at your library. Today I'm reading one of Seamus Heaney's poems from New Selected Poems 1966 to 1987 and published by Faber and Faber. Seamus Heaney was a distinguished Irish poet, playwright and translator and was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1995 and several other awards throughout his lifetime. He wrote this poem, Diggin, which is a family narrative depicting the poet's family tradition. The poem begins when Seamus Heaney, sitting at his, test, at his desk with a pen in his hand, is distracted by the sound of digging coming from his garden, where his father is preparing the field for potatoes. He glances at his father working in the garden and recalls how his grandfather used to work in the same way in his garden. He shows great respect for them and acknowledges that he has inherited the skills of digging from them. He tells that his ancestor used garden tools and his tool is his pen that helps him dig into his memory and family history. In this poem, Seamus Heaney has beautifully explored his relationship with his family legacy using his pen and expertise. I would like to say a special thank you to the Heaney Foundation for granting permission to Waterford Libraries to record this poem. I hope you enjoy it. Digging by Seamus Heaney. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, snug as a gun. Under my window, our clean, rasping sound when the spade sinks into gravelly ground. My father, digging. I look down till his straining romp among the flower beds bends low, comes up twenty years away, stooping in rhythm through potato drills where he was digging. The coarse boot nestled on the log, the shaft against the inside knee was levered firmly. He rooted out tall tops, buried the bright edge deep to scatter new potatoes that we picked, loving their cool hardness in our hands. By God, the old man could handle a spade, just like his old man. My grandfather cut more turf in a day than any other man on Toner's Bog. Once I carried him milk in a bottle, corked sloppily with paper. He straightened up to drink it, then fell to right away, nicking and slicing neatly, heaving sods over his shoulder, going down and down for the good turf. Digging. The cold smell of potato mould, the squelch and slap of soggy peat, the cart cuts of an edge, through living roots awaken in my head. But I've no spade to follow men like them. Between my finger and my thumb, the squat pen rests, I'll dig with it. <laughs> 